No basic chicken sandwiches here. Today we're making buffalo chicken sandwiches. Add one cup of buttermilk, one egg, black pepper and garlic salt to a bowl. For your flour mixture, you're gonna add two cups of flour, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and one to two tablespoons of each of these seasonings. They're on the screen for you guys. I use chicken thighs for this recipe, so go ahead and get your chicken ready. You're gonna dip your chicken into the buttermilk mixture and then coat it with your flour. You're gonna fry it on medium heat for about six to eight minutes. We're gonna make two sauces today, so let's go ahead and get into the first one. One cup of mayo, one third cup Frank's Red Hot, black pepper to taste, one fourth cup barbecue sauce, mustard to taste as well. For the sauce to coat your chicken in, you're gonna add Frank's Red Hot again, two teaspoons of vinegar, and one half cup of melted butter. Coat your chicken and set to the side. I made homemade brioche buns for my sandwiches. If you want the recipe, just scroll down and you'll find it. But let's go ahead and put our sandwiches together. I added my sauce, lettuce, chicken, more sauce, and I topped it with scallions and pickles. And that's pretty much it. This tasted absolutely amazing, and it's the perfect recipe to impress family and friends with. Check out my Instagram if this video went too fast for you, I'll be writing the recipe there. Best homemade pasta you will ever eat. Butter and garlic. Onions. Tomato paste. Mushrooms. Chicken. Spaghetti sauce Parsley Heavy cream Cheese Paprika, black pepper, oregano, basil, red pepper, onion powder, garlic herb I heard Costco came out with a spicy chicken sandwich so I made it at home and even better. Now you don't have to sneak in with mama's membership card, made the cheese bread from scratch, it was too yummy and I'm lactose intolerant. Listen to the crunch. Homemade spicy mayo heath. Posting recipe tomorrow besties. What's up guys? Today we're going to be making Kit Kat fudge with just three ingredients. First up, you're going to line the base of your baking tray with Kit Kat so it's ready for when we come to pour the fudge on top. Add one tin of condensed milk to a saucepan and 500 grams of white chocolate. Melt these together on a low heat until the mixture is thick and smooth. Keep stirring constantly so the mix doesn't burn. Turn off the heat and fold in 125 grams of Kit Kat pieces chopped up. You only need to stir this once or twice to create a nice swell. Pour it into your baking tray then spread it out all the way to the edges. Leave it to set in the fridge for a minimum of 3 hours although it might need longer. Cut it up and we're done. Enjoy! I'm going to show you how I make mango natas. So you first start off by cutting your mango right. Make sure you get as much mango off of that mango as you can. Um, take the skin off. This is the easiest way I found to take the skin off is you just grab one edge and you cut downwards like that. Um, you see my little brother being a little fatty trying to get some. Okay, and then you put it in your blender cup and you fill it up with water and you add about two um, spoonfuls of sugar, like so. And then put the top on and blend. Boop. That's my blending sound. So then in the cup, you want to add some chamoy, some tahini, fill it up with your mango um, blend, some more chamoy, some more tahini, popsicle stick, and pop it in the freezer. The next morning, they should be ready to go. Um, to take them out, just run it under... 